Hello and welcome, this is LCS Recap Worlds and this is Gambit Gaming in 5 minutes. The final European team to enter Worlds is the mostly Russian Gambit Gaming. Beating evil geniuses in the third place match of the European playoffs, Gambit have been known by many names. As Empire, the play that made them famous was this from Gosu Pepper as Nunu in the IEM Kiev qualifiers in 2011. Genja does use that ulti. Gosu actually popping his own ulti. Oh my god! Karthus ulti backed him with it! Wow! They were not expecting that! SK just got in destroyed! A Karthus ulti timed him with the. It always seems to be SK taking the brunt of these plays, doesn't it? Alas, this play spawned many imitations, most famously this one from Team Solo Mid. You have to get binded near me. You have to get binded. Oh shit, dude, 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 you gotta get to me right now. Get to me right now, you're dead. You're not, you're, there's no Empire boy. There's no Empire boy. There's no Empire boy. Fucking Empire, dude. Empire would be proud, dude. Six. In December 2011, they were picked up by the Russian organization Moscow 5 and would go on to completely whitewash IEM Kiev, beating Cypher, Dignitas, Against All Authority, SK Gaming and Team Solo Mid. But this was just the start of the dark horse that was the Russian powerhouses. And they have played absolutely phenomenally. They've been immaculate all the way through it, you know. Coming in second place in Kings of Europe and then not dropping a single game in the IEM World Championship in Hanover, Moscow 5 beat nearly every current Western team, including once again Dignitas, Counter Logic Gaming, Against All Authority, SK Gaming, Team Curse, Team Solo Mid, Team Alternate and Fnatic. But the thorn in the side of Moscow 5 was a team with a ridiculous late game, a team that they have remained friends and rivals with up to this day, Counter Logic Gaming EU. CLG EU, or Evil Geniuses as they are now known, beat Moscow 5 in the Corsair Vengeance Cup in the final and repeated this victory at Dreamhack Summer 2012. However, Moscow 5 advanced to the semi-finals in the Season 2 World Championships but lost out to Taipei Assassins, who would go on to win the tournament. Moscow 5 did go through some troubles. Diamond and Gosu Pepper had built themselves up quite a reputation for being generally toxic members of the community, using phrases such as GG1v9 and rage quitting important matches. Gosu reinvented himself with a new username and an improved attitude into the support we know and love today, Edward. After some legal troubles in the management at the start of 2013, Darian, Diamond Prox, Alexish, Genja, and the newly named Edward were picked up by Gambit Gaming. They would go on to do well throughout the first half of the year, even beating Azubu Blaze for first place at IEM Katowice, until Edward accepted a new contract and not only changed team, but changed region to play support on Team Curse after Elements and Rux were not considered LCS level candidates. This was very much a dark time for Gambit, suffering heavy losses with both Darker and Voidal, even seeming to throw Darian completely off his game. Gambit would not get their chemistry back until late in the split, but still managed to obtain third place at the European playoffs. A 2-1 thrilling best of three. Gambit Gaming, the third team to represent Europe over in Los Angeles. Brilliant game. And then the comeback being down one game. Gambit sport a unique team dynamic. They are there to get the job done and make no friends in the process. It's well documented that they are very strict with themselves and each other, but their cohesive team fighting and mechanically proficient mid and jungle will often take games into their own hands to pull out wins. Over time, Alex Ish has built himself up to be quite the famous face, and as his English has gotten more proficient and he's settled into the celebrity role, we have golden moments like this that wouldn't happen on any other team. Uh, we thought that losing is not an option, so we decided to bait them and outsmart them. <laughs> so I'm not the best singer, but still. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katya. Happy birthday to you. You cannot give Gambit any advantages or they will snatch the entire game away from you. While they're not on as top form as they were in Season 2, Gambit are looking to make a strong showing in the group stage at the World Finals. So to say, we just want to win World Finals, that's why we are doing this. This episode of LCS Recap Worlds was brought to you by Dave who says, Patrick and Nico, please, pretty please, carry me on to gold, S1 sucks. Thank you very much for watching, you can subscribe in the bottom right.